Hello to everyone! I am Violeta in Russian for foreigners today. Today we'll speak about 10 useful phrases, morning phrases. Um, I guess uh, we have the same morning every day. But sometimes I think maybe your morning are different than mine. Maybe I'm um, not uh, waiting seven morning to awake. Maybe I awake a bit earlier. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. I hope we are awaking all the time at the same time. So let's start from so useful phrases when you can tell someone at the morning or you can hear at the morning so of course morning утро morning утро so can be bad morning but i hope yours it's a good morning so good morning good morning everyone you can say at the morning when you are awake when you open your door from your room eating uh, brush your teeth and someone can ask you do you have a good morning yes i have a good morning all the time because it's a starting the day so good morning means доброе утро доброе утро so bad morning плохое утро <laughs> i hope you don't have that so good morning доброе утро доброе утро Good morning. Доброе утро. Um, but when you're awake, someone make you breakfast, or you are doing by yourself, or go to um, Starbucks or somewhere, like to eat some, I don't know, some porridge or maybe scrambled eggs. So you should know how you should call that if you are in Moscow, for example have a breakfast with me maybe <laughs> okay if with me i will show that i can't speak russian at all and uh, um, allow you to speak russian to improve your russian all the time so let's go for breakfast давай позавтракаем let's go for breakfast давай позавтракаем i hope you will tell me <laughs> when you call me Violeta. Did you wake? Okay, let's go for breakfast. We have a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of hours to speak Russian. <laughs> okay, I hope it will be not in the morning because I hope I will sleep at that time. <laughs> uh, so next time, our next word can be go for breakfast. You can say yes. Давай пойдем позавтракаем. Давай позавтракаем. Давай позавтракаем. So breakfast, завтрак. Next one. Maybe someone don't like breakfast. Maybe drinks just coffee. Maybe tea. Maybe milk. So заварим кофе. Заварим кофе. So make a coffee. Let's make a coffee. Давай заварим кофе. Давай. Um, Pay attention. Давай it means let's do it. Давай. We have two different way to say the word давай. Давай means give me. Дай. Давай. 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 So or let's go. Давай. Давай попьем кофе. Let's drink some coffee. Давай пойдем позавтракаем. Let's go for breakfast. Давай, вставай. Let's go. Awake, please. So, when you tell someone awake, it means get up, вставай. It means if you are sitting and get up, I can say вставай. Вставай. Do you understand? So, вставай means when you are lying down on your bed, sleeping, but someone open the door for example your mom and she can see that you are still sleeping but your school are starting or university or job or something like this 
and five minutes you have just to wear your dress, drink some coffee. She can say, Davai, vstavaj, 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 a week. So these words, I think you understand what I mean. Um, next one, I want to tell you about some breakfast part. This part, um, uh, so interesting. Uh, for someone who not just drink some coffee or tea at the breakfast, maybe you like some porridge. Porridge. I don't like porridge. It's some part that I. That's why I'm not uh, have a breakfast with my mom because my mom always made it every day for long years just porridge okay but porridge can be eatable if it's a, with a honey or some with a honey it's like mead smeodam with honey smeodam uh, with mm, some berry s jagadami s jagadami or whatever mm, with the ice cream <laughs> Maybe to be more tasty, you know, smaroženem uh, with ice cream. But porridge, it's a kasha. I think if you if if you tell someone kasha or porridge, what is the better for for how to say for the listening comprehension? I think better to say porridge. It's like you know uh, something posh porridge but kasha it's so simple kasha so can be kasha can be scrambled eggs i like to put some eggs with uh, milk with uh, sometimes smetana do you understand what does that mean smetana it's kind of um like yogurt but it's not sweet I like it, but just with some dish, not like sitting and eating just smetana, like something weird. But okay, um, I can put this one spoon that smetana, or maybe put some milk there and scramble it. And after that, when you open it, you can see omelette. Omelet, so simple. Omelet. Maybe you can put something. Maybe, maybe, maybe some meat. Maybe chicken. Okay, I think you will not understand because Russian never mm, in a breakfast eating something light. I like to be that breakfast will be heavy. You know. Okay. I'm not so fat, I can eat it, by the way. <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, flakes. So, flakes can be with milk also. We can say chlopia. Chlopia. Okay, flakes, chlopia. Uh, and all the time, at the morning, I don't know, I think every family can hear that like sentence from your mom or from your husband or from your wife, sister, brother, whatever. Uh, that question, how did you sleep? How did you sleep? And another, uh, another question, when you come back at home. So first one, how did you sleep, honey? How did you sleep, honey? How did you sleep? Как ты спала? Как ты спала? Or как ты спал? Как ты спала? If I'm a man, I want to ask you as a girl, как ты спала? Спала. Do you see this? 
last letter in this word a ah, a ah, means pa la but if i'm talking with a man i can ask kak ty spal without this a a ah. spal just spal without a ah. do you understand do you remember we have a female and male nouns in russian so and of course another question when you will back at home когда ты вернешься сегодня домой когда when ты you вернешься come back at home so when you don't want to speak about it <laughs> I think you will find a lot of answers to avoid this question, but it depends on you. Maybe you wanna you wanna bring some present or flowers after that if you're up to uh, 11 p.m. and someone who is waiting you will not be, uh, will be not so angry. Okay. Another part, if you see my Russian friend so happy, why? Because he's uh, uh, going uh, for his job today, not in a bus, but in taxi. So, taxi we have in Russian, uh, in Russia also, in Russian language the same, taxi. Uh, to go to your job, to awake in the morning and go somewhere uh, to do something, to have your business stuff, something like this. Bus, автобус, bus, автобус, train, can be tramway or maybe poised. Listen, we have the word poised, train, like poise but if you go somewhere for five hours but if it's uh, maybe for 20 minutes it's not too far from here for example from the airport to the center we have a train also but we can say elektrichka elektrichka it's the same like a train we have the same poise but uh, <laughs> It doesn't mean that you will sleep in there, you know, lying down, drinking some tea. No, it's not that. So you will be sitting and waiting for 20 minutes when you, from the airport, will be in the center of Moscow. So, elektrichka. It's fast without traffic jam. So, good. Uh, when you will go, come here to Moscow, please use it. Because when you go to by taxi, it will take a lot of time, you know. So maybe for two hours. Crazy. You can go by your car, but own car. But listen, it depends where you're going. If you're going to the center of Moscow, uh, will be difficult with the parking. I hope the same like with the. Mm. yeah it's like for in a plane you're going there so better to use a metro metro is better so russian friend do you see he's so happy because of the taxi but he doesn't know that it will take a lot of time better to use metro or train <laughs> okay i hope it's useful for you let's see you next time to know all details about another topic <laughs>